check, 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 check. Y'all know what time it is, DJ K-Tone, 20 and 20. 20 and 20. I got the homegirl Mandy Groves today. Mandy Groves, ladies, you're going to enjoy this one. You're going to enjoy this one, ladies, on everything. Watch what I tell you. Mandy Groves, I got Mandy Groves coming in. Yeah. Hello. Real quick, man. Let me let the vibe out one time, real quick. Okay. Okay. Y'all show some love to Mandy Groves right now. Share the live one time, share the live real quick, y'all. You can lie to me and say you'll always be there with me, even though I know it's changed. Paint a pretty picture just to fit inside my brain. Share the live right now. Hey, what you say, Mandy? Hello. Hit this though. Hit it. Hit it for him. Hit it for him. I can't hey, I can't pretend. Hold up. Yeah. Man, Mandy. <laughs> Nothing much. How are you, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. How you feeling? <laughs> good. How about you? I'm good. I'm great. I can't complain at all. Wonderful. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? Same. We're alive. We, 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 <laughs> we blessed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. How, how you holding up right now? Good. It's been crazy, but... um. I mean, I'm the kind of person that's been like self quarantining for a long time, so I've been right. fine. <laughs> so, this is how we do this is 20 and 20 with DJ K Tone. The concept is 20 questions in 20 minutes, okay? But you know, give or take a couple, you know, <laughs> we might go over, we might go under, however it goes, we're just gonna go. Um, first thing, Mandy Groves, actress. Singer, model. I mean, which, which, where should I even start? Like, where did you start? Which one of those um, fields did you start in the industry? Was it was it? Did you act first? Did you sing first? What'd you do? Um, in the industry, I acted first. So I I started. Uh, uh, I. But at the same time, pretty much, actually, because yeah. I, I started singing in a band and that was my job. And then okay. I also started doing commercials like at the same exact time. So was it like you got hired for a band or did you try it out? How did it happen? Um, no, I actually was doing karaoke by myself. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was like, a, I think it was Thursday night um, at McCarthy's in Aurora. And I was doing uh, I was doing karaoke, just hanging out by myself. And um, this band approached me, and they were looking for a new um, woman singer in their band. And so that's how it started. And I did that for four years. Wow. Yeah. So, so in the mean in in the meantime of that, the acting came about. Yeah. So um, during that time, I also was um, trying to sign with an agency. 
So I started with an agency a little bit before that, probably a year before that, but I hadn't really been on any auditions. And then like right at the same time as starting with the band, I also started getting auditions. And then um, my first commercial I got was a Coors Light commercial. It was a national ad um, right off the bat. And that was like right when I joined the band. Wow. So yeah. with, the, with, with your agency, is, <laughs> so are you still with the same agency now that you yes. started? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I've been with them for like four years. So they got you, well, I mean, them and, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're acting and just people seeing you got you a lot of gigs and commercials and stuff and stuff that we even see. Like, I mean, I've seen a couple commercials, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> it, how, how is that, you know, doing commercials and, I mean, because you it's... do, go ahead, go ahead. Just tell us it's, about the Okay. You do a lot of them. I've seen them. Yeah, um, it's fun. It's it's pretty awesome. It's like a dream come true kind of because um, I've always been interested in doing commercial acting. I've always been doing interested in, in acting, but it's like you never – like when your dreams start happening, you never think – you never know what that's going to feel like. And so it's just kind of crazy because now I remember just wishing I could get one commercial. And then I remember just wishing I could get one speaking role and like all the stuff. And then now I've got all of that and I'm looking back on it. Like, you know, when did that even happen? It's kind of crazy. So have you ever thought about doing like sitcoms or have you done? Oh sitcoms? yeah. Um, I haven't done a sitcom. I've done um, short films. Um, I've done, um, I'm going to do a feature link film. Uh, I can't talk too much about that. Uh -oh. But, um, and sitcom is like my, that would be like my dream, like something like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. I would love something like that. So yeah, I mean, that's my ultimate goal is to be on like a primetime television show. That would be amazing. So that's, so that's ultimate. So movies aren't your ultimate goal then? No, I don't, I don't think so. I'm, I'm so partial to television. I love TV and I'm such like, I love watching TV series and, um, you know, I love Hulu, but I, I don't do a lot on Netflix. Like I don't love movies as much. No. So if somebody came and, and said, we want to cast you for this movie, you're not, you're of do no, of course. I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in, in a heartbeat. And yeah, and I'm, I'm doing a feature link film um, soon. So that'll be cool. So um, I want to know, let's talk about the music a little bit because yeah. you kind of started doing house. You was doing house <clears throat> music first, right? Yeah, I, my first EP um, was a little R&B. Um, it, it was a lot more heavy on the R&B side. And okay. then after that, I started switching to house. So, what, I mean, why though? What, what made you switch? I don't know. I think, you know, I think I listen, I listen to a lot of different music. And, um, yeah. and I think that house, just the melodies and the chord progressions and everything, um, even lyrically, you know, um, it really speaks to me a lot more. And it seems to kind of be what I, I felt more comfortable writing it. Like after I started writing some house stuff, I was like, yeah, this is kind of what I like. Um, but I like, I mean, I like everything. I think I kind of took a turn towards house and I think I still kind of live in that realm, but I also just put out an R and B song as well. So it's kind of all over the place. So, so your, your, your most recent project three mm -hmm. came out some months back. Um, now what was the, what was the concept behind it? Cause it, it's, it's three tracks on there. Like, is that, the concept, you just wanted three tracks and just call it three. What's the whole concept on the three? Well, dang, and I have such a good story for this, but it's going to require some thinking because I just haven't told it in a while. Um, yeah. I wrote, okay, I wrote I Want You First. And um, what, three came out. So I had gotten in a car accident um, okay. in October of last year. Okay. And before that, I was working on I Want You as a single. And, um, and I was like, cause I had just done blow. I had just done blow. That doesn't sound great. Yeah, yeah, I just, that didn't, <laughs> that, didn't sound, that didn't sound good at all. <laughs> I had just released the song blow. Okay, okay. Um, and, and so 
I was kind of on that house train. And so I was going to release I Want You as a single. And then I got in the car accident. Um, also, during that time, while my producer, Shannon, and I were working on I Want You, it just, it we weren't getting it finished. Like, it wasn't organically coming together. And so we kept working on it, kept working on it. Um, and then the car accident happened. And then um, I was out for, like, two months. And then... Um, and then I finally felt this urge. I was like, I've got to get back in the studio. And I ended up writing Done With Me. That The very night that I went into the studio, we wrote it, recorded it, finished it. And then I realized they were, it was two songs with three word titles. And I was like, well, I'm ready to do one more. So we worked on I Can't Pretend, which is also a three word title, three songs. Um, it's also my third EP. So all of those threes came together. And then also, yeah. And then also my favorite number is three. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so three, so three might be a big number for you. Yeah, three it definitely is. is. Yeah. It definitely is like numerology wise too. It's, um, you know, it's all about, you know, following your path and, and stuff yeah. like that. So, like, yeah. So, so talking, speaking on three, I like this song. I want you to write. Yeah. So, so in the song you did, you said, <laughs> now, uh, I want you, I know you're scared, but I am too. Hey. Right? Yeah. What do I do? Tell a lie or tell the truth. Yeah. Right? So yeah. is that a decision that you're really faced with all the time in your relationship? Oh, uh... Feel? <laughs> no <laughs> no not really I mean um I don't know I, I write about a lot of common themes like I write about unrequited love a lot um and I think that I think a lot of times the, the music that I'm writing the lyrics that I'm writing are more from an empathetic point of view like I I always want people to know a lot a lot of the stuff I'm writing has nothing to do with my life like I'm more pulling from what I see in other people's experiences or how I imagine that would feel or something like that. I mean, um, I think that theme though is something that we all can relate to. Just like, let's move forward with this relationship. Like, I know you're scared. I'm scared. We've, but we clearly care about each other. So right. let's do it, you know? So tell a lie or tell the truth? Tell, tell the truth. <laughs> Music or acting? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about that you gotta one. Pick one. You gotta pick I've got to pick one. Got to pick one for me. I Music didn't know acting. it was like that. Um, okay. If Music you, or if, but but only like if you just had to make a decision, which one would it be for you? If I had to make, geez. you had to make a decision. Or what do you prefer? Or what do you like best? I, I mean, I think that they're <laughs> my, my facial expressions. I'm so like, ah. Um, <laughs> I think that uh, I'm two sides of, they're two sides of the same coin. Is that how you use that phrase? They, they're both of me, I guess. Um, I don't really like one more than the other. If I had to choose, I guess music uh, more flows out of me organically. Like, I, I think that I probably was put on this earth to sing and make music and write lyrics. Um, whereas acting is a talent. So I guess music. Okay. We'll take it. Um, so, <laughs> so do you, of course you write, but do you produce as well? As right? I don't, I, don't, um, I, I oh, hate bro. computers. So, oh wait, am I breaking up right now? Can you hear me? Yeah, you are. I hear, we hear you now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't produce myself. Uh, I hate computers. I hate technology. <laughs> um, it frustrates me really bad. But no, um, I do. I am very hands on. So I do like to sit with my producer, Shanu, and work on the tracks together. Um, and I am good at like directing where things go and what I want. Yeah. So I, I, call, I, I like to call that a quarterback. So you quarterback. Yes. Like, okay. You go. You do that. You do that. You, I like that. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's that's me. <laughs> okay. Um, I recently seen you on the new app too, Voicey. Yes. Yes. 
I'm really, I'm really not too familiar with it. I know a lot of people is not too familiar. So, I mean, let us, give us an update. Tell us kind of about Voicey and how you even got popping on that. Um, Voicey is my life right now. <laughs> Um, it's this brand new app. Um, it came out around two years ago in, um, in Europe and then it released in the U S last summer. And, um, it's basically, it's just this awesome collective, um, of producers who can submit their beats to the app. Um, and it's normally on a one minute loop yeah. and then artists. Um, or non-artists or uh, musicians that play instruments or whatever, um, you can come in and basically choose from a whole gigantic catalog of beats, write your own songs, do originals, make a cover fit to it, and then you just record it. Um, and then, yeah, and then you post it. It's, wow. a, lot, it's a lot like TikTok, but singing okay. or rapping or playing an instrument. Okay. So how did yeah. how how did you get up on that so fast, like before the curve? I mean, because well, they're really not even really going. I'm sure it's going to really hit. Yeah, I um, I saw a couple people posting on Instagram of it, but I wasn't really paying attention. And then my best friend, Brianne, um, she would every day was like, make a voicey, make a voicey, make a voicey. We'd be talking about something totally different. And she'd be like, hey, so um, while you go eat, can you make a voicey really quick? And so finally, I got on there and I instantly was addicted. And I started out doing comedy songs. So like I started out writing funny songs about quarantine. Yeah. And then it kind of developed from there. And now um, I write at least a song a day. Really? And yeah, I and it's, it's like songwriting camp. Like basically, you know, because there's just so many beats to choose from and stuff. So I've I've written a song a day for two months, at least. Yesterday, I had a crazy burst of inspiration, and I wrote 14 songs yesterday. 14? <laughs> Insane. Okay. Insane. It was crazy. Oh. And I, I, wrote, I wrote nine of them in 45 minutes, just sitting there writing. It was crazy. It was insane. Wow. Yeah, it was wild. That's, that's... So, Voicey's the best. <laughs> do, do you... Do you um... Of course, you sing your songs, but do you also sell your songs, shop your songs around, or have you done that yet? Um, I don't currently. Um, the closest thing I have ever done to that um, was actually, I think he might be in this live, um, Darius and Chris. They actually introduced me to songwriting um, for, like, theme songs. For like TV shows, right. um, and th they're actually how I got into CSAC. Um, so, but I don't currently sell my songs um, or anything like that. And I also uh, I haven't really gotten on the songwriting wave of like writing songs for other people, just because my songs are so personal to me that I don't want to sell them. <laughs> but right. I would. I, I, I'm sure I would. So, so you just said CSAC. You probably one of the only artists I've really her say they were CSEC. Why CSEC as opposed to ASCAP for BMI? I, you know, it wasn't even a choice that I knew I was making. I kind of was like grandfathered into it. Luckily, like, um, I mean, big thank you to Darius and Chris and, um, and got me in there. And um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't even, um, it wasn't a decision. Like, I, I actually didn't even know what it was at the time. Like, I just got into it. And yeah. then now I'm like, wow, I'm in an invitation only yeah. thing. It's not, yeah. it's, not, it's not many artists. It's not many artists with C I mean, I'm sure it's many artists, but like yeah. not many artists that we really know that's with C set. I know a lot yeah. of people are talking about, but you know, that's um Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I don't even know if I've met someone else on C SAC since yeah. I started doing music. I think I think i I only know of two and i can't remember who who it is honestly i just know it's a couple for sure yeah um <clears throat> how do you feel about you know I, we're gonna get a little switch off the music right now but how do you feel okay. a little, how do you feel about you know a lot of the injustices going on in the, in the world right now that's a heavy question yeah. um 
I'm mostly like pissed off. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Um, I mean, coming from my, my own personal standpoint, and I, I feel like I don't talk about it often, you know, but um, my father is a black man and he was born in 1939. Um, so he lived through the civil rights movement. He was in Tennessee. Yeah. And, um, I, my first cousin, Errol Groves was actually the first child to integrate segregated schools in Tennessee. Okay. So, um, so, I mean, I've got in my heart, I've got a lot of connection, um, right. you know, and, uh, and so it's, it pisses me off. It's, so, <laughs> it's, so a lot of your family is from the South. Yeah, yeah, both my mom and my dad's side. My mom's oh. side is from Georgia. So what's your actual nationality? I'm black and white. Um, oh. I'm So on my mom's side, I'm um, Cherokee and Blackfoot. Okay. And then Irish. And then, yeah, black on my dad's side. So, so do you, being mixed, right, um, do you kind of feel torn in a lot of areas? Like right now, like, do you feel? No, well, no, <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm black. And um, and so, I mean, g growing up, I grew up in a situation where I didn't look at myself in the mirror and see anything but me. Like, I didn't really have that. Um, and then I got into high school and it kind of started you know, I, I would, um, that's when I started being aware of the fact, okay, you are mixed. Right. Um, you know, you do have some things to speak on. You do have some things to handle. Um, you do have responsibilities. You do, you know what I mean? And, right. and that happened when I was like in high school. Um, but no, I don't, I, I don't feel torn at all. Because I don't feel an absence of being white. You know what I mean? I just am black. Right. And, and I don't feel like I'm betraying any side. You know what I mean? Right. So give us your take on the, on the George Floyd murder. Heavy question again. <laughs> um, I mean, terrible. I mean, I don't, I don't even know how to put into words. It's, that's a, that's a lot to take. I mean, um, it's, it's, it's big right now. It's a, yeah. And it, it's so hurtful to so many people and it hurt, it hurt everyone. It hurts everyone, you know, um, well, well, let me ask you this. What's your stance on the actual protests going on in, the, in Denver, in the city right now? Well, I think it is, I think it's fucking crazy that <laughs> there was any violence um, from the police at all. I, I know that that's been a huge thing that um, has just been so infuriating that these protests have been peaceful and they've been met with force. Um, but I mean, it's, a, of course they have, because that's what we're dealing with. Um, do, you, do you feel there, there's going to be actual real change from, from I, this? I think that there can be. I think yeah. that, um, I think that, you know, there can be bills that are passed. There can be um, change made. There can be, an awakening of the bullshit and the injustice, but it has to be taken seriously by all sides. You know, there has to be a lot of work done, but I do right. think change can happen. Um, right. And I, I'm not, you know, I'm not opposed to, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that's like, Man, it's hard to it's hard to say. I'm not the type of person that's like, let's just stay peaceful. Like if you if you bring a fight, then I believe it should be met with that. And right. and I think that I I think that this generation is not past generations. And I think Definitely. you know that you know that meme that's like we are not our past generations, we yeah, will fuck you up. Yeah. 
<laughs> and yeah. I, you know, and I, and I agree with that. I think, I think that change has to happen. I so, think that there is no other option, you know? So it's safe to say Mandy Groves, the, the G, the G, you got a little <laughs> gangster in your name. Mandy G, you got a little gangster <laughs> in your name, Mandy, huh? I guess so. <laughs> right. um, tell me, what, what has quarantine, well, obviously you're writing 14 songs a day, but what has, <laughs> what, what has being in quarantine taught you? Like, have you learned anything new? What has it really taught you? I've learned that uh, I'm kind of made for quarantine. Like I, I've learned that I like quarantine a little bit better than I like regular life. <laughs> I, I, I kind of feel like that too. Yeah. Um, also, you know, I think that it's all about what you do with it. I think that I, I took quarantine. I took the time that I had really seriously and yeah. to work on my craft and to, because I felt instantly stagnant. Like before quarantine, I worked so much yeah. that putting a stop on that was insane. Like I felt like I felt like I was falling behind. I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I felt like I wasn't working. And so I kind of continued in hyperdrive in different ways. And, you know, I think that that's I think what it's taught me about myself is that, um, you know, I'm kind of a workaholic no matter what. Definitely. Um, two more questions. Answer me this. Okay. F finish the sentence. Mandy Groves is what? Um, is goofy. <laughs> goofy. <laughs> All right. That's the I'll first thing that came to my mind. I'll take, I'll take it. DJ K-Tone is goofy. No, I'm just oh! kidding. <laughs> I'll take that too. Mandy, I want to get I want to get to one of the, uh, another record real quick. I want to get into that. I want you. Can I do that? Yeah, of course. I introduce it to the people real quick for me. Introduce it to them. All right. Uh, this is my single off of the EP three called "I Want You." Let's get into it. And people, listen. You can talk to Mandy. She's gonna be on here. I'm gonna play the record. She can read your questions. You, she'll answer your questions. Holla! Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. Check, y'all go. I had to change my battery, Mandy. I had to change my battery. Hey. I like this one. I like this one. You can talk to Mandy if you like this song. Put the fire emojis up for me. This real funky, Mandy. <laughs> I got to add this to my collection. Yeah. I'm playing this tonight on my midnight mix. I'm on that midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Let me see the fire emojis one time if you like this. Learn these words, lady. <laughs> you gon' tell a lie, you gon' tell the truth. Oh, we ain't go, we ain't gon' never know. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all follow Mandy Grows right now. Follow Mandy Grows right now. Hey. Hey, 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 
Hey, hey, oh, it's real funky, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> You can get this project right now. It's called Three. It's on Tidal. It's on Spotify. It's on all your streaming sites right now. All platforms right now. Get that. I got to let this ride. I'm letting this ride because this is so funky, man. <laughs> this is so funky. Hey. I am too. Hey. What you gonna do, lady? You gonna tell a lie? You gonna tell the truth? Huh? 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 <laughs> hey. Yeah, I like it. I can dig it. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Any, any, any last. Any last words you want to tell the people before we get up out of here? Um, I love y'all, and thanks for tuning in. And stay safe out there. And uh, stand up for what you believe in. Definitely. And hold on, before I go, I do the I, all my guests. I give my all my guests something different, right? Ooh. I got the DJ K tone on everything, pink and white. On everything, socks you can lounge in, you can wear out. Yes. You can see the pink from the light, but that's pink and white. I can okay. see. I yep, there they. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. I, I like that. You. I'm into that. I got you. So I get these out to you. I appreciate you. That's just a gift. Thank from, you. From myself on everything worldwide. Thank and, um, you. Definitely appreciate you. Thank you for having me on. Thanks, everyone. Yes. Oh, call your senators to urge them to support SB 20-21. Call your senators. And we're going to, yeah, we'll put that up too. I'm, I'll, I'll post that for you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, man. One love. One love. Bye. Y'all make sure y'all follow Mandy Groves. Make sure you support the music. Support her. Real dope artist. Appreciate you, Mandy. Uh, DJ K-Tone, 20 and 20. For the rest of the week, Wednesday, I have Jay Stalin from the Bay Area. Jay Stalin, Bay Area, this Wednesday. And Friday, I have actor, activist, producer, songwriter, Ken Folk, Kid Shine. He's tapping in this Friday. Um, official DJKTone.com. You can get your own everything, merch, your socks, all that. Support that. Official DJKTone.com. Uh, SB20-217. Okay. SB20-217. We're gonna put I'm gonna put all the info up because I forgot. Call your senator, okay? Call your senator. <laughs> uh I'm gonna put the info up though. Shout out to Mandy Groves. Appreciate y'all tune in. Lock in with me. Uh Wednesday and Friday this week. Jay Stalin, Kia Shine, official DJKTone.com. Tune in. <laughs>